The Teachwell National Marine Debris Project is a joint collaborative project between CSIRO and Earthwatch, which is supported by Shell's Social Investment Program. It's a fantastic program with the goal of going out, collecting data all the way around the country, working with citizen scientists, with school kids, with teachers, with members of the public, to really start to get a handle on the marine debris issue. Our aim is to carry out a national risk assessment so that we can identify or quantify the threat that marine debris poses to Australia's wildlife. Marine debris is all those little bits and bobs that we discard in our everyday life. It, it often ends up being plastic bits. We find everything on beaches from light bulbs and toothbrushes to bottle caps and cans and lids and drink bottles, a whole array of garbage that we throw away in our everyday society. You know, we've been out working on some beautiful beaches and, and my perception before I'd been working on this was that the, the beach is pristine, there's nothing here. Um, and I've just been amazed, you know, as all of us have, that there's actually lots of really, really small bits of plastic right across the beach. So we've actually found areas that look pristine when you start to look a bit closer. Um, we, ha we haven't been to a beach this year, and we've been all over Australia, but we haven't been to a beach where we haven't found plastic or debris of some sort. We go to some areas where you're bush bashing, where there's no roads, where we used to float plane to get in, and knowing that no matter how remote the beach is, that we still find human garbage there is a really surprising thing. And it's, I mean, it's disappointing, but it really shows the global nature of the problem. And I think really understanding the global nature of the marine debris issue and taking small incremental steps in your neighborhood, in your community, is a way to start solving that problem. Observationally, we find lots of cigarette butts and lots of pieces of plastic. Um, from broken up buoys in the water. We find lots of glass. So we've collected all this data. Um, we have been around Australia and we've done all our coastal surveys. We've done over 150 to date. Um, we're going to use this data and analyse it. The data that we collected was what was there? What was it made of? Is it glass? Is it plastic? Is it paper? What colour was it? Was it brown? Was it white? Was it red? Um, and what size was it? Was it big? Was it small? Because we're going to analyse this data and have a look and see what, how it's interacting with the wildlife. Um, for instance, we find a lot of birds, shearwaters in particular, are eating um, bits of marine debris off the top of the surface of the water. And when we're finding them dead on beaches and we cut them open, we're finding plastics in their stomachs. One of the things CSIRO is doing at the moment is looking at whether particular animals are selecting for particular types of plastic. So obviously, you know, when we're collecting something on the beach, that, you know, um, a particular type of debris, that may be something that an animal selects for as food. So, you know, that's what they're really interested in seeing, basically where the debris is and then basically what the sources of that are, uh, of the debris are, and then potentially what sort of impact that might be having on marine species along our coastline. So we're collecting all this data in an effort to change a few things. One is the way people and kids in our communities look at our beaches and what's on our beaches and change habits, our own personal habits, recycle more, reuse, those kinds of things. So we're trying to use our research to really attack the source of the problem of marine debris, find out what the source is and how it's getting there and, and attack it at the source. Is it we need more bins on our beaches? Is it that we need heavier fines on our beaches? Is it that there's more debris in bigger centres versus smaller centres? How can we deal with that?